we here with Ryan. Got the way I always doing business. And the lovely Divas over there. Hanging out, getting ready to sleep. Call me back, call me back, call me back. What are we here for, kid? Um, we here to talk about our businesses. Yeah. That's Black Folk Hotspots and Industry Buzz and Business Spotlight Networking and the Savvy Professionals. You know, Dwayne told me to come and Brian said come, so I just came right. Right, exactly. <laughs> Brian, Brian said just bring your ass. Bring you, Inspirational. Bring your butt. <laughs> Inspirational media, I'm sorry. So we are here having a good time, and in a minute we're going to be with Dwayne Hirsch and his BSN event. So y'all keep it like I am gonna be vlogging all day, right? <laughs> I see y'all on the site. <laughs> I am here with Brian. Brian, why why are we here today? What you doing? What you up to? Oh, trying to uh, bring some uh, information to the youth um, with uh, Giflet.com. It's uh, job information. Why did you decide to do something like that? Uh, just a lack of information for on uh, you know different jobs and careers as a kid. Me and my buddy um, uh, been you know talking about it for a minute, trying to figure out how to put it together. And we finally came up with a blueprint that we were happy with, and then you know we uh, jumped out and started executing it. So I'm on the road. So it's giggleit. dot com. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, spell it out for folks. G i g l i t. dot com. <laughs> now, what else you have coming up? What else you doing? L M A O. It's a uh, it's a feature, sort of a sketch comedy feature. Uh, Star me that's gonna be out. It's real fun. Uh, kind of been away for a minute on the film side. I've been behind the scenes. I was out on the road with my play, which I'm still doing. Friends of the benefit. Yep. And he's busy right now. He's doing interviews. I got interviewed today. That was pretty cool. She was brilliant. <laughs> she was I get brilliant. it from your side of the family. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we signing out, y'all. You want to say any last words to the people that's looking? I'm going to say peace. Check out that industry buzz with 3 Z. See y'all. So, yeah, in the time that we do have, we want to ask you about the Black Enterprise brand. Give everybody a little bit of a sense of what everything is that's encompassed in that right now so that they can make that connection or reconnection to all of the brands. Yeah, first, let me start out. It's the largest gathering of black business owners in the country, and I've been told in the world. I just can't personally verify that. But you definitely want to be there. You go to blackenterprise.com and register for that. And if you're listening to, listening to um, the Urban Business Roundtable, Every week between now and the end of the month, I'm giving a special discount code that will knock off more than 50% off the registration price. So I just came there. Uh, but as you said, once for, for a very long time, we celebrated our 40th anniversary this past August. Black Enterprise was just a magazine. We were a single magazine publishing company, great legacy, award-winning magazine. But over the last 10 years, if you guys haven't noticed, lots of things have changed in our economy and in the world around us. So now we are a digital first company. Um, so we have blackenterprise.com, which I ran for three years. I ran the magazine for 13 years. The last three years, I ran blackenterprise.com. We also have the iPad app. So if you got a new iPad or the iPad 2, get the Black Enterprise Wealth for Life iPad app. Um, we have the mobile site, so you can get Black Enterprise mobile. We have newsletters. We have the three national networking events on the Entrepreneurs Conference, which I mentioned. We just finished the Women of Power Summit. Sisters, I was just so privileged to be in that place with 750 
powerful women that had it going on. Uh, we just had that, and of course the golf and tennis event in, in, uh, that'll be in Florida this year. I mean, you can learn about everything you need to know at blackenterprise.com, so I don't want this to be a long commercial, but we are a multimedia, digital first company, and um, my current title, which I literally just got in October, is a newly created position, multimedia editor at large. I am the new brand ambassador that explains all of that, both to our audiences as well as to our advertisers. All right. Because it's a very new time for our company. That's great. Black Enterprise. Black Enterprise is a household name, and we're seeing, as you mentioned, the shift from print to being digital first. I'm tuning in to Black Enterprise on Facebook to see what's going on. What's the next event that we should be on the lookout for? Well, the Entrepreneurs Conference is the big one. Okay. Registration opens last month. Um, this is kind of interesting. You would think in a bad economy, people wouldn't go to those conferences, but a lot of people are being forced into entrepreneurship or they're being prompted to pursue their dreams. So last year, we had record attendance, even right. though it was supposedly a down economy. Right. We expect that even to increase more because people are finally saying, I need to stop talking about it. I've been making money for someone else for my whole career. Now it's time to make money for myself. That's right. All right. So we definitely want to be there. Again, and please listen to the Urban Business Roundtable. I don't know. If you're smart about business, you don't pay more than you have to to do anything. Right. So if you're listening to the Urban Business Roundtable, you'll get the discount code, and when you register, you'll be good. The code is only good to March 31st. Okay. Um, it was only good to February 12th, but I asked them to extend it for my people. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but definitely listen in. All right. Well, BSN will definitely be there at that event. We definitely will. Let me say this right here and now. The next time, it's not going to be surprised that I'm coming here. Yes. Uh, I just said y'all going to have a ball after I leave. Yeah, yeah, we're about to get it in. So I'm guaranteeing you the next time I'm in Chicago, I'm here. All right. All right. All right. That's what we want. Now, uh, one question I wanted to ask you is this. Everybody in this room has something to offer, and we know that everybody, uh, people that you meet are probably always throwing things your way in the way of ideas and in the way of concepts. Maybe you can address really quickly what kind of concepts are really hot right now for entrepreneurs, and what is it that you really look for in when, when somebody comes to you with an idea? What is it that you really look for in that? Well, let, let me say this. I'm not biased one way or the other. I look for businesses and ideas that make money. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's a traditional business or a new business. And that's me as an editor. That's me. I, I judge business plan competitions around the country. Right. Explain to me in 30 seconds how this makes money. Uh oh. And elevator pitch. Exactly. And actually, we have an elevator pitch competition uh -huh. at the conference where you can win $10,000 just to have the best pitch. Right. Well, uh, you know, so winners. Is she here? Okay. Shay Atkins. She was. Uh, She's gonna be here a little Creative bit later. Turkey. Yeah. Turkey. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was actually very entertaining. Yeah, right. uh, <laughs> but, but my point is, you want to demonstrate what you should be demonstrating to yourself that this is an opportunity that has profit-making potential, and that's what we like to the stories we like to tell in Black Enterprise. The other thing we want to do is if you have done something that works, we want to share that with other people so they can do it. You don't want our people right. constantly reinventing right. wheel. So it's about sharing information. And, uh, and, that, and that's why I'm so passionate about social media. By the way, you ain't going to get to talk to me tonight because I'm going to be running, but that's me on Twitter. That's mm -hmm. me on Facebook. That's okay. me on LinkedIn. And I'm really, really big. Right. In, in and I appreciate media. your input today. Yeah. You as soon as I'm right? I'm friends with my man. Yeah, yeah that's you right. Know, so, so I do that because I want to stay connected to you. I want to know what your needs are. I want to find out about your story mm -hmm. because then I can pass it on to my crew mm -hmm. back in New York. And we can make sure that word gets out about what's going on. Last question, really quick. Tonight we're talking about legacy. When you when you leave here, the other guests were talking about legacy. What legacy does Alfred Edmund Jr. leave not only to black, black enterprise, but to black business owners? Man, you think I'm trying to retire? So? <laughs> Man, my, my only, my mission has been the same mission from jump. Um, I received my calling from my profession, and I believe that not only ministers receive calls, and I give honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, but I receive my calling, and my calling is to get the right information to the right people at the right time so they can do the right thing and then inspire them to take action. Because mm -hmm. you can have the knowledge, but if you sit on it, it's like you were ignorant in the first place. Right. So, so it's not just enough to say, I know, I'm educated, I'm knowledgeable, but I am moved, inspired, scared, whatever motivates mm -hmm. you to take some action to make a difference. And, that's that word. And, and your Ooh. presence alone, <laughs> your presence alone is inspiring us, and we thank you for being here. We know you got to catch a flight, and we thank Takoya Kennedy, everybody. Give it up for